right now we begin with a presidential pardon for a late boxer and Galveston native. Good afternoon. I'm Sarah Donchi. And I'm Keith Garvin. Just hours ago, President Donald Trump pardoned Jack Johnson, the first black heavyweight boxing champion. Channel 2's Mario Diaz has been following the case for years and is the only Houston reporter in Washington for today's pardon. He's live now at the White House with a reaction from Johnson's family and those who admired him. Mario, a big day. Huge day, Keith. Absolutely a great day. Also, if you're a fan of Jack Johnson, he was a larger than life figure known as the Galveston Giant. And for members of the boxing community and his family, today's posthumous presidential pardon was a victory for President Donald Trump. It was simply the right thing. This all comes more than a century following his controversial conviction. Inside the Oval Office, President Donald Trump delivered the biggest knockout of Galveston native Jack Johnson's life. We righted a wrong. It was a wrong, and a lot of people knew it. I knew it without being an expert on the subject. I knew it for a long time. Jack Johnson was not treated fairly, and we have corrected that, and I'm Thank very you. honored to have done it. Boxing's first black heavyweight champion had his life and career ruined by a racially charged federal conviction in 1913. For years, his family, including his great-great-niece, Linda Haywood, had battled to get the conviction overturned. A posthumous presidential pardon is the end of her family's long emotional fight. How do you feel? I, I really don't even have any words. <laughs> and, and it's seldom that I'm at a loss for words. But I feel absolutely fabulous. I feel elated. This is surreal. Former champ Lennox Lewis was in the Oval Office for the pardon ceremony. This has been a personal fight for him as well. Lennox, what was it like to be inside the Oval Office? And I've seen you fight numerous times in Las Vegas and we were in the gyms back in the day. But yeah. what was it like for you to be inside the Oval Office of the President of the United States of America with his great great niece and securing this pardon finally? I think it was an unbelievable event. Uh, I thought it was great. I thought having a pardon, giving Jack Johnson a pardon right now is perfect. Lennox Lewis added that it was also long overdue. Jack Johnson died in 1946. That was 72 years ago. If you think about it, even in death, he scored the biggest victory of his life in the White House on this very day. Live in Washington, D.C., Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, Mario, thank you so much. And right now on ClickTVHouston.com, we have a closer look at the Jack Johnson case leading up to today's pardon. You will find the story on our homepage.